In this video, we demonstrate how to integrate with Late Logic Server Automation and extract data from further consumption using XSLT and XPath. As you can see in the infographic, we want to execute Late Logic API calls via BLCLI to manage objects within the Late Logic Server Automation Suite. Our goal here is to integrate with Late Logic to extract data and translate this information into consumable XML structures so that subsequent workflow can leverage that information. So we focus not only on the integration into Blade Logic, but also how we can apply XSLT and XPath to modify and massage that response data. In this scenario, we wrap the existing out of the box perform BLCLI command into a custom workflow. For your benefit, we generate the workflow from scratch. Move an assign statement into the workspace. Drag and drop existing helper workflows like get adapter name. We looked at the workflow get adapter name already in another exercise. You should be familiar with the concept of using location and type in order to retrieve the blade logic adapter name. As you can see here, our location is pulled from the module configuration and the adapter type is BSA as we want to integrate with Blade Logic Server Automation. The adapter name has to be added to connection details. And as you can see here, we have the construct for connection details already as an XSLT template and only add the adapter name to that construct. We will talk more about connection details in this section about concepts. BLCLI requires a namespace, a command, and an argument list. This is common for all BLCLI commands. By assigning it to a local context item, we will be able to copy and paste this workflow later and just have to change the namespace, the command name and the argument list, the overall wrapping of that workflow of the perform BLCLI command will stay exactly the same, the error handling that we might apply, as well as the extraction of the data. This workflow that we built here serves as a foundation for all future Blade Logic integration workflows that are custom built and do not leverage the out of the box module. For this command, list all servers, there are no ar arguments. And then we drag and drop the perform BLCLI command workflow. You see the context item will be automatically mapped as the name matches. And then we add an additional step to extract the data and format the data for further consumption. The context item script line is the output of the BLCLI command workflow and will serve as the input for our XSLT. We have sample data available. Drag and drop a root element into our XSLT. Then we move a for loop over as a procedure and use the appropriate XPath expression to iterate through all the lines. Q 
using items and item as an XML structure keeps it very generic. As we copy and paste this overall workflow, we can easily adjust then the ex extract of that data. As you can see here, we are interested in the output of the lines and it's properly formatted. And again, the goal for this XSLT is to retrieve the data from Blade Logic and massage the data so that we always have an items slash item XML response. Allows us to copy and paste this workflow and assign other BLCLI API calls. Let's test the workflow. and review the result. And as you can see, structured data we receive back from our command. Don't forget to add this as the output example data so that other consumers of your workflow can easily document and read off. 